The bar graph depicts the day-to-day -day fluctuations in the number of people using the London Underground. The station is rarely more than 100% full at any one time of day. At the station's busiest periods, which are 8 a.m. and 6 p.m., there are about 400 people. This isn't unexpected, given that these are the hours when most people are either on their way to work or have just arrived home from it. As a rule, the station is least congested between the hours of 6 a.m. and 8 p.m. each day. 8 a.m. and 6 p.m., Monday through Friday, are peak hours for traffic. The graphic appears to be a pie chart divided into five different sized pieces, each displaying healthy eating alternatives. The larger the portion, the healthier the meal. The various portions of the plate propose different dietary things to restore equilibrium, or physical and mental balance. The platter is divided into two huge halves, one with fruits and vegetables and the other with bread, rice, potatoes, and pasta. Parts of milk or dairy products, as well as chicken and meat, are slightly smaller than those portions. Foods and drinks with high fats and sugars make up the tiniest portion of the eat will plate. Overall, we may infer that in order to be alive and kicking, we must consume a well-balanced diet. The scene depicted is a seascape. We can clearly see a ship in the middle of the ocean in the photo. After that, there are a variety of marine life forms to be found, including dolphins, tropical fish, whales, and sharks. The whale is the picture's largest animal. At the bottom of the photo, we can spot some submerged vegetation. Finally, the image offers information on the precise sizes of marine life.
Coffee house data is depicted in the graph. A coffee maker and two baristas may be seen on the left side of the graph, as can be seen by looking at it. According to the graph, it's obvious that looking to the right there are two ladies and two males to be seen. Looking at the graph, it's obvious that a counter and a tablet can be seen in the center. So there you have it, an informative image of a coffee shop. From 2002 to 2006, the percentage of persons who spent their vacations in a certain way changed. The number of persons who traveled outside of their country rose from 15% in 2002 to 25% in 2006. From 40% in 2002 to 35% in 2006, the number of people visiting the coast was steadily declining. From 2002 to 2006, the percentage of persons who went camping climbed from 10% to 30%. Homebound people's share of the total population fell from 35% in 2002 to 10% in 2006. Camping saw the greatest rise in participants, while staying at home saw the greatest decline. In the first photograph, a child is throwing the used bottle in the bin whereas, in the other photograph, litter can be seen on the shore of a sea or river. These photos are giving the message that human activities are polluting the water and it should be stopped. The child who is throwing a bottle in the dustbin clearly giving the message that discarding used material in water is harmful to water living animals.
Had CM3 model, IPCC says a two scenario is identified on the map picture. Most of the top or northern section of the continent, as well as certain areas in the south, are painted grey, indicating that the terrain is unsuitable for cereal production. The center of the map is shaded off white, indicating that there has been no or minimal change in cereal output. The uppermost section, as well as other areas in the south, are red, indicating a minus 50% reduction in production. The green tones are strewn around the globe, indicating a 5 to 25% rise. Overall, the map depicts a patchwork of data on serial output. The map represents the grey parrot range in Africa. According to the map, there are two grey parrot species were recorded, which include Timnair grey parrot and Congo grey parrot. In terms of the Congo grey parrot, the estimated population is from 560,000 to 12.7 million, while the estimated population of the Timnair grey parrot is only from 12,100 to 259,000. The main range for Congo grey parrot is in the middle part of the Africa, which includes Nigeria, Cameroon, Gabon, and Democratic Republic of Congo. However, the Timnair grey parrots only can be found in small part of Guinea, Liberia, and Côte d'Ivoire. In conclusion, the Timnair grey parrot faces extinction. The percentage of people living in urban areas in 2003 and 2030 is depicted in this bar graph. In 2003, North America had the highest percentage of its people living in urban settings, 80%, while Africa had the lowest, 39%. South America, 83%, and Africa, 53%, are predicted to have the biggest percentage of their populations living in urban areas in 2030, respectively. All continents are expected to see a rise in the percentage of people living in urban areas.
the destinations of Indonesian tourists may be seen in this bar graph. With 1 million visitors, some land was the most popular stop. Next came Japan, 800,000, Australia, 700,000, and Korea, 600,000, in the top 5, 600,000. Pakistan was the least popular destination, 350,000. As a whole, Indonesian tourists preferred some land to Pakistan as a vacation destination. This diagram depicts a business and the numerous roles that people hold inside it. Rita Martin oversees business operations, Caroline Clark handles marketing, while Rick Moranis handles customer service. Mike Smith, the director, is in charge of all three of these personnel, and his assistant, Jim Peterson, serves as Smith's right-hand man. While Mike Smith oversees the company as a whole, each of the three managers is responsible for a certain part of it. A one-bedroom flat is seen in this illustration. The unit is 5.40 x 6.80 m in size. The bathroom is on the right, and the kitchen is on the left, as you enter. You will discover a huge living area on the right and a bedroom on the left as you continue into the apartment. This image could be used to promote a product or service to potential customers or tenants. The graph below shows information on people's preferred movie genres. Comedy, action, romance, drama, and science fiction are among the genres represented. According to this graph, 
the value of fans in comedy is about 4, while the value of action is around 5. This graph shows that romance has the maximum number of fans, which is 6. This graph also shows that drama has the lowest value of admirers. Finally, romance has the highest monetary worth. The lithosphere refers to the crust and the uppermost solid mantle of the earth. The asthenosphere and lower mantle are below the lithosphere. The outer core, which is 2,900 km thick, lies underneath this. The 5,100 km thick core is comprised of solid metal. The earth contains several layers from the crust to the inner core, which is 6,378 km away. From 1996 to 2002, the number of males and women is depicted in this bar graph. As of 1996, the population was split evenly between males and women with 1,500 individuals each gender. Both sexes made up the majority of the attendees. As of 2002, there were over 2,000 women and nearly 1,800 males in the workforce. Both sexes were represented at the event. Between 1996 and 2002, the population of both males and women grew. The graphic depicts the transformation of a city block over a decade, from 2000 to 2010. The commercial center next to the hospital was converted into a cancer and pharmacy that is separate from the hospital as the first significant alteration. 
Farmland was also developed and a nursing school was established next to the parking lot, making it even more convenient. Overall, half of the city block was transformed and developed, resulting in a more densely populated area with fewer public spaces. This bar graph illustrates the holiday accommodation chosen by people in the United Kingdom in 2010. Generally, it is possible to say that the English, Scottish, Northern Irish and Welsh made very similar choices. In all four countries, approximately half the people chose to stay in hotels. This figure was highest in England at around 55%, almost twice the number of people who cooked for themselves and far greater than the number who stayed in campsites and caravans. A similar pattern was repeated for the Scots and the Welsh. The one country that shows a different pattern was Northern Ireland. The sanctioned spending versus actual expenditure in India's 11th five-year plan is depicted in this double bar chart. During the first, second, and fourth years of the plan, the sanctioned expenditures and actual expenditure are almost identical, as seen in the bar chart. However, throughout the plan's third and fifth years, the difference between sanctioned and actual spending widened. It shows that the 11th five-year plan's implementation efficiency is greater in the first, second, and fourth years. However, implementation efficiency worsened in the third and fifth years. In millimetres and Celsius, the graphic shows a Capalco's climate from 1951 to 2010. 
Seasonal temperature changes occur throughout the year, from January to May the temperature rises between 26 and 28 degrees, and from June to September it rises over 28 degrees. At 250 to 300 millimeters, the wettest months fell in the latter half of the year. The coldest months are from January to May, with the most rainfall occurring from June to September. The image serves as a visual record of the experiment's results. Students and their teacher are doing an experiment on the blue desk in the photo, as can be seen. The experiment that one of the pupils is conducting appears to be being closely monitored by the teacher. In addition, we can see that all of the students are wearing protective eyewear for their own protection. To summarize, this image depicts the steps involved in doing a chemical experiment.